mom of two girls, eight and ten. My youngest daughter is transgender. The Trump administration has attacked the rights of transgender people, banning them from military service, um, weakening non-discrimination protections, and even removing the word transgender from some government websites. How will you, as president, reverse this dangerous and discriminatory agenda and ensure that the lives and rights of LGBTQ people are protected under U.S. law? I will flat out just change the law. Every, eliminate those executive orders, number one. You may recall, I'm the guy who said, uh, I was raised by a man who uh, I remember I was being dropped off. My, my, my dad was a high school educated, well-read man who uh, was a really decent guy. And I was being dropped off to get, get an application in the center of our city, Wilmington, Delaware, the corporate capital of the world at the time. And these two men, I'm getting out to get a, an application to be a lifeguard in the African-American community because there was a big swimming pool complex. And, uh, and these two men, well-dressed, leaned up and hugged one another and kissed one another. I'm getting out of the car at the light, and I turn to my dad. My dad looked at me and said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. The idea that an 8-year-old child or a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. They're being murdered. I mean, I think it's up to now 17. Don't hold me to that number, but it's it's it's, incre it's, it's higher now. Yeah. And that's just this year. And so I promise you, there is no reason to suggest that there should be any right denied your daughter or daughters, whichever one or two, one, one your daughter, that your other daughter has a right to be and do none, zero. And by the way, my son, Bo, passed away, was the attorney general of the state of Delaware. He was the guy who got the first transgender law passed in the state of Delaware. And uh, because of a young man who became a woman uh, who uh, worked for him in the attorney general's office.